This episode of TechZilla is sponsored by 23andMe. Jason writes in, hey guys, I know you've done some shows on upgrading to an SSD. I have an HP DV7-6B77DX notebook. It has a second bay for a hard drive. And uh, so I was planning on upgrading to a SSD for the main drive and using the original drive in the second bay, hoping to improve my performance with an SSD. I went to Newegg to look at SSDs. I'm not sure what interface to use. <laughs> Do I want SATA, SATA 2, or SATA 3? Any suggestions on brand also? Help, sign Jason <laughs> in Vernon, Connecticut. CT, baby. Okay, first up, moving to an SSD, a solid state drive, our favorite performance upgrade right now. Without a we doubt. get a, a huge, noticeable boost in performance, especially in startup, opening applications, opening or saving big files, resuming from sleep. Seriously, anything <laughs> that involves reading or writing off the hard drive gets a monster boost in performance because SSDs are so much faster than traditional, you know, rotating media hard drives. So, our personal favorite right now, you know, just really, Samsung's 840 series, excellent value. It's seven millimeters, so it'll fit into most any laptop. There are faster SSDs out there, but if you're going from your current rotating media hard drive to an SSD, you will not notice a difference. Don't spend another $200 so you can be like, you know, mine did the Kessel Run in 11 parsecs, because <laughs> you're not gonna notice it. Good reference. Here's what gets interesting. So you go to the HP Pavilion. It does have the option for the second drive, apparently up to like 12.5 millimeters, but what you are gonna need Ooh. that may not be obvious is the second hard drive, uh, hard disk drive cable. Unless your HP came with two hard drives, they probably didn't put the cable in there. So what you need is this critter, yay. So that's the SATA connector for the hard disk drive and the connector for the laptop. If you don't have that, it's gonna be about impossible to put a second drive in there. So uh, new modus, uh, newmodus.com, we'll put a link in the show notes for that. They actually do all sorts of uh, hard drive caddies and cables for a whole bunch of brands and notebooks. It's really cool, I haven't Super seen this handy. one before. Or you can get your eBay on and search for the cable there. So a little bit less expensive, uh, but I don't know what the support's gonna be there. As far as SATA goes, don't sweat it. Uh, SATA 2, SATA 3 is fine. You know, theoretically, well, SATA 3 is twice the... It's a bigger number. It's kind yeah, of better. Well, it's six gigabits <laughs> per second. You're not going to... Look, first of all, SATA 3, SATA 2, SATA backwards compatible. Yeah. I don't think you're going to find a SATA SSD, and you will not see a difference in performance between SATA 2 and SATA 3. I'm using a SATA 3 drive with a SATA 2 notebook or a SATA 2 connection. Yes, yeah. it works just fine. Have you ever wondered what you might learn from your DNA? Well, I was, which is why I use 23andMe. Now, they enable anyone to explore their own DNA based on a saliva analysis of approximately 1 million data points in your DNA. Now, customers receive over 200 personalized reports that cover health risks, physical traits, carrier status, conditions that could be passed on to children, and much more. 23andMe first offered their personal genome service in November 2007 for $999, and it only provided 14 reports. But today, you can get over over 200 reports, all for only 99 bucks. Now, it may sound intimidating, but 23andMe makes the whole process really simple. First, you buy a DNA kit online, then you mail in your saliva sample, postage is included, and after a few weeks, you receive over 200 health, trait, and ancestry reports. So what are you waiting for? Get started today, it's really fun. Check it out at 23andMe.com slash to learn more.